Tonight, for a brief moment, the AI arms race turned into a standing ovation. Google dropped Gemini 3. Sam Altman himself tweeted, Congrats to Google. Looks like a great model. That was followed by Elon Musk also saying congrats. Sundar replied with a folded hands emoji. Even Googlers are calling it a new era of intelligence. And under the hood, this thing isn't just vibes. On public leaderboards, Gemini 3 Pro is now number one on LM Arena with 1501 ELO, hits PhD level scores on GPQA Diamond and posts state-of-the-art results on ARC AGI 2 for general intelligence tests, beating previous frontier models across reasoning, math and multimodal tasks. But here's the twist India cares about. Reliance Geo is already wiring this frontier model into its ecosystems. On top of an 18-month Google AI Pro offer, effectively putting one of the world's best models into the hands of millions of Indians at zero extra cost, Gemini 3 just changed the global AI race. And India might be the first country where it truly goes mass market. This is Front Page, AIM Network's Video first newsroom, bringing you only the information that matters. No hype, no noise, just tech, truth, and what it means for your future. And please subscribe to Front Page and AIM Network. Just motivates us. So, well, coming back. The question is, what did Google actually launch? Gemini 3 is Google DeepMind's new frontier model, built to be state-of-the-art in reasoning. It can peel apart messy layered problems instead of just autocomplete text. Fully multimodal. It reads long docs, code, images, video, audio and connects them in one brain. Agentic plus vibe coding native. It acts, which is planning, coding, using tools, driving terminals and browsers. On benchmarks, Gemini 3 Pro lists out like this, tops LM Arena with 1501 LO, higher than other public frontier models, scores 91.9% on GPQA Diamond and is well greater than 37% on humanity's last exam without tools, signaling deep academic style reasoning, hits 23.4% on Math Arena Apex for hard math, 81% on Triple MU Pro for multimodal tasks and 87.6% on video Triple MU for video understanding. Achieves 72.1% on simple QA verified, a factual accuracy benchmark. So, in plain English, on public scoreboards, Gemini 3 is now the model to beat across reasoning, math, and multimodal understanding. Google is shipping Gemini 3 everywhere on day one. Search AI mode. Gemini 3 now powers immersive generative answers with interactive tools and simulations built on the fly. Think mini apps and visual explainers instead of a wall of links. Gemini app, the default brain for learning, planning, coding, analyzing long videos, lecture notes, contracts, PDFs, the developers and the enterprises. Available in Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, Gemini CLI and the new Google Anti-Gravity Agentic Dev platform. The Anti-Gravity lets agents write code, run terminals and drive browsers end to end. Almost like having a junior dev team inside your IDE. And this is where the crushes, other models happens. The narrative really comes from this. On web dev arena, Gemini 3 Pro is now top ranked for full stack web app generation. On terminal bench 2.0, it shows best in class computer use skills, operating terminals and tools reliably. This is basically tell it 
to the outcome, it handles the steps kind of software. And here's the part the internet can't stop talking about. In the middle of a brutal frontier model race, Sam Altman paused to tweet, congrats to Google on Gemini 3, looks like a great model, end quote. Sundar replied with a folded hands, Google folks, OpenAI folks, XAI folks, all quote tweeting. Logan Kilpatrick summed it up with mentioning Gemini and Sam with a handshake emoji. And then came the crazy suggestion, which is this. What if, instead of burning trillions of dollars separately, OpenAI plus DeepMind plus XAI actually joined forces on AGI? Shared safety, shared infrastructure, less duplicated compute, more shared science. Will that happen? Realistically, no one's betting rent money on it, but the fact that people are even saying this out aloud tells you where we are. The top model changes almost every few weeks. The only constant is the pace and the power bill. Now, let us actually step back and zoom into India. While the US debates AGI alliances, Reliance Geo quietly did something brutal and very on brand. They posted with Geo in partnership with Google Gemini, a major transformation begins today. Advanced technology means something only when it reaches every Indian seamlessly and effortlessly. End quote. Remember, Geo already offers eligible users 18 months of Google AI Pro at no extra cost, which now actually includes Gemini 3 Pro. This translated would mean in the US, Gemini 3 Ultra is a premium subscription. In India, tens of millions of people will feel Gemini 3 baked into Geo's ecosystem for free via Geo Cloud, Geo Apps and AI Pro benefits. This is a very classic India move. The United States builds the frontier model. India becomes the first true mass deployment market for students, small founders, indie devs, tier 2 and tier 3 creators. This isn't just model drama. It's actually your daily assistant, code pair, tutor and business analyst arriving inside the Geo plus Google stack. So the question now is what this means for the AI race. So where does Gemini 3 leave OpenAI, Anthropic, XAI and the rest? The benchmarks say Google is back in clear leadership on reasoning plus multimodal. Product Surface says nobody else can ship a frontier model into Search, Android, YouTube, Docs and Geo all at once at this scale. The ecosystem says developers suddenly have a serious, sometimes cheaper, sometimes better alternative to GPT class models for agents and coding. So at the same time, OpenAI still dominates the cultural mindset and third party ecosystem. Anthropic is carving out the safest deep thinking model niche. XAI is racing on raw performance and free to use access. But tonight, if you look only at public numbers and mainstream reach, Gemini 3 has absolutely punched back into the top seat. In conclusion, as always, on the front page take, here it is. So before we close tonight, what happened with Gemini 3 Google launching a frontier model, Geo giving it to millions for free, also actually reminds us of something Amitabh Kant warned just a few days ago in his own words. And here they are. Indian telecom operators are giving free access to perplexity. Others are letting Gemini Pro absorb Indian data for free. OpenAI is partnering with universities to take Indian data at zero cost. These global models become better using your data and then sell the AI products back to you at extremely high prices. This is colonization, but in stealth mode, end quote. This is genuinely a powerful reminder. AI breakthroughs are amazing, correct? Free access is empowering, yes, but data is the new oil and India must protect 
govern and value its own. As models get smarter, nations must get wiser. This moment, Gemini 3 plus Geo plus the global AI race is clearly about who owns intelligence, who controls data and who shapes the future. We would definitely like to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.